Hey everybody, this is uh, Blaise Pascal, and uh, this is on solving linear systems by multiplying first. This is going to be part one, so after you get done with this, there's an assignment at the end uh, that you'll see, and I've provided answers at the end also, so you can check your answers. Um, uh, take a look at part two after you get done with that assignment. Um, I want you to do this one first before uh, you're comfortable, and, and get comfortable with this uh, before you try part two. So you'll see uh, after you do this part. Anyway. So write two equations that are equivalent to 2x plus 3y equals 5. Okay, so what this means is you just multiply everything by the same number. What you're doing is you're multiplying the left side and the right side by the same number. Remember, when you have an equation, whatever you do to one side, you've got to do the same thing to the other side. So I can multiply both sides by 2, uh, this side by 2, or this side by, say, negative 5, or in this side by negative 5, or even, you know, I can multiply both sides by 50. It would give me equivalent equations as long as you did it to both sides. All right, now I chose um, uh, negative 3 for one of them and positive 2 for another one right here. Um, you can do any of them. There are infinitely many correct answers on this. So um, let's go ahead and uh, distribute that negative 3 through the parentheses. And so negative 3 times 2x is uh, negative 6x, and negative 3 times 3y is negative 9y, and then negative 3 times times 5 is negative 15. Okay, this goes by 2. So 2 times 2x is 4x, 6y, 10. Okay, so, so there's the two equations right there. And there's again, there's infinitely many correct ones. There's just two of them that are equivalent to this equation right here. All right, you could have you could have multiplied by a half. You could have divided by 2. You could have, as long as you do it to both sides, you guys, you can multiply by decimals too, whatever is convenient for you. Okay, so you'll see the reason why on this section right here. So solve each linear system using the elimination method. Okay, so here's the first one. Before uh, we would have both of them be in both 6x's or 2x's or whatever, as long as they were both. Or, or if this was a 5y, this would have been like a negative 5y. And then we could have just added them together and canceled out. But I don't have that case right here. And what I'm going to do is change this equation, make an equivalent equation, by multiplying by negative 3. And I chose negative 3 because that's going to get me a negative 6x right there that'll, that'll be able to cancel out with that positive 6x. But I'm going to have to go through and multiply this by negative 3, this by negative 3, this by negative 3. And watch what happens when I do that. Negative 3 times this is negative 6x, and this is going to be negative 9y, negative 15. It's just an equivalent equation. And I'm just going to slide the top equation right over. There it is right there. And check them out, you guys. Now they're they're opposites of each other, so now I can add them together, and then the 6x and negative 6x cancel out. Watch out for these negatives. Positive 5y uh, minus 9y is a negative 4y, and 19 plus a negative 15 is positive 4. So when you divide by negative 4, you get y equals negative 1. And then you can substitute negative 1 into the red guy, uh, or this blue equation, or either one of these black equations over here. I, I like the smallest numbers, so I chose to put it in that one. I like to stay small with the numbers so I don't get lost in the big numbers. So I'm going to put in negative 1 right there. All right, so, um, and then that's going to get me a minus 3 right there. So now I'm going to solve for x, and I'm going to add 3, and I get 8 on that side, and so x equals 4, so the answer is 4, comma 1, or 4, comma negative 1. This should be a negative 1 right there. Sorry, that should be a negative one. Let's see if I can fix that without too much disruption. Yeah, there we go. Okay, all right, so there's the answer right there. All righty, um, okay, so here's number two. All right, now on this one, you guys, I can, I can make these both 4x's, one a positive 4x and one a negative 4x, or I can make these both 11y's. It doesn't matter, just you've got to multiply everything by the same number. And I don't want to deal with the 11, because that's going to make that a 99 right there, and I don't want to deal with big numbers. So I'm going to, I'm going to multiply this top equation by negative 2, and that's going to get me a, a negative 4x. It'll cancel out with the positive 4x on the bottom. So everything times negative 2. So I get this times negative 2, this times negative 2, this times negative 2, and it gives me this equation right here. All right, so now I'm just going to slide the other guy right over. Now they're ready to just add, and then uh, negative 2 plus 11 is a, is a positive 9, and then 18 plus 9 is 20, um, 27, and 9 goes into 27 three times, so y equals 3. You can plug y into any equation, the blue one, the red one, or either one of these guys over here. I like the smallest number, so I'm going to plug it into this one right here. All right, so I get uh, 2x plus 3 equals uh, negative 9. I'm going to subtract 3, you guys. Now watch out, negative 9 minus 3, negative 12. 
Okay, so 2x equals negative 12, so x equals um, uh, negative 6 when you divide, and so your answer is uh, negative 6, comma 3. All right, let's try another one. Okay, 2x plus 5y equals 3. 3x plus 10y equals negative 3. Okay, I, I can see if I just multiply this one by negative 2, it'll get me a negative 10y right there. Okay, all right, part 2 of the lesson is going to do... Uh, uh, You'll see in a little bit, but if I if if I multiply this five times negative two, it's going to get me a negative ten, and it's going to cancel out with this positive ten. So here we go. I'm going to multiply the top equation times negative two. So this times negative two is negative four x. This times negative two is negative ten y, and then three times negative two is negative six. Okay, I'm going to slide the bottom equation right over. Okay, and then I can add them together, and then negative four x plus three x is negative one x. And then the 10 and negative 10 y's cancel, and so I get negative 9. So x equals positive 9. Okay, uh, I'm just looking for the smallest one, you guys. So I plugged it into that x right there. And then so 2 times 9 uh, is going to get me uh, 18. So I'm going to subtract 18 from both sides. And then 3 minus 18 is a negative 15. And then um, uh, so you get y equals negative 3. All right, so the answer is always x comma y, so 9 comma negative 3. All right, okay, this one right here, uh, I'm just going to talk you through this one, you guys. I'm going to multiply this bottom, e actually, these ones are all ready to just add together because of the 4x and negative 4x. So when I add these guys together, I get negative 4y. When I add these guys together, I get 8, so y equals negative 2. And then you can substitute negative 2 back in right there, and you're going to get um, uh, that answer right there. Okay, so, so what I would like you to do is uh, try these uh, for your assignment, you guys. Um, uh, these are the ones I'm assigning to my students. So to, I'm gonna, if you would, pause this right here. And then when you get done uh, pausing it and writing them down, and then work on them. Don't look at the answers yet. But on the next click that I do, I'll have the answers. But pause it right here so you can copy down those problems right here. And then and when you're done copying them down and you're done working on them, you can check your answers. And, and here's your answers. Okay, again, uh, pause it because uh, I'm going to end it right here.